Alhamdulillah, today is a day of harvest. Today is a graduation day. Today we stand here, celebrate our victories, our achievements from the last month, from the Ayyam and Ma'adudat, the blessed month of Ramadan that passed. This was a month of training, a month of obedience, a month where Allah teaches us how to be Muslims, how to be believers, 
how to obey him in the best way. A month where we listen to the command of Allah. Allah commanded us to fast. And we spent a month fasting. Allah commanded, He told us, Shahr Ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al-Qur'an. And we recited the Qur'an, many of us completed the entire Qur'an in our prayers, in our evenings, and in our individual recitations. May Allah reward us for that. This is a month where Allah commanded us, During the nights, you eat and drink till the morning time, till the dawn time. And we obeyed the command of Allah during the nights we had our meals and not during the day. This is a month where Allah commanded for man kana minkum maribam aw ala safarin fa'idatun min ayyamin ukhar. Those who are ill or on a journey make up these days, have the option of making up these days and others. And many of us were ill, may Allah give us healing. Many of us, we took that exemption from the Quran, we obeyed Allah and we we opted not to fast on those days. Some of us were chronically ill and were not able to fast, so we gave the fidya, as Allah said, fidya to ta'am and iskeem. So we, come, we obeyed Allah's commands day after night in this entire month of Ramadan. And today we stand here in obedience of Allah's command. Allah says, When He took me to Ida, when you took up your Allah, Allah, ma hadakum, wala Allah kum tashkurun. So complete the days of Ramadan and on the day of Eid, stand up and magnify Allah, say the takbirat, say Allahu Akbar and that's what we are doing today لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ so that we may be grateful today is a day of celebration where the predominant emotion should be one of gratitude this is the end of Ramadan لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ we have so much to be grateful for my brothers and sisters we are grateful for this month of Ramadan that passed we are grateful for the guidance of Islam. We say, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi hadana lihaza, wa ma kunna linahtadi alawla an hadana Allah. Alhamdulillah, Allah gave us His guidance. We would not be here today had it not been for His tawfiq. But we say, Alhamdulillah, for the kitab, for the Nabi, and for the straight path. We say, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi anzala ala abduhu al-kitaba, wa lam yaj'al lahu awaja. Alhamdulillah, Allah, Alhamdulillah for the one who revealed his book upon the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam book that shows a straight path that contains no crookedness. We say Alhamdulillah for so many things if we were to list all of the things we could not do so because we enjoy so many blessings of Allah. The final blessing I want to highlight is the blessing of a better life. All of us are enjoying a good life that many of our brothers and sisters are not enjoying around the world. We say, Alhamdulillah, Alladhi Faddalana ala kathirin min al-Badhi al-Mu'mineen. All these are from the Quran. We say, Alhamdulillah, for Allah preferring us to be in a better life, a better position than many of His servants around the world. We are here in this beautiful park on this beautiful day with peace and security. We don't have to worry about bombs over our heads. We don't have to worry about our security. We say, Alhamdulillah, for that. But on this day of celebration, this day of joy, this day of Eid, this day of harvest, we should not forget our brothers and sisters around the world. This is a day all of our celebrations, the celebrations of believers, are tempered with this awareness, this responsibility, this pain that we feel for our members of our family who are around the world. And we know painfully in the last few days what's going on, you know, and I want to highlight in the blessed city of Palestine, the blessed land of Palestine, the blessed city of Quds, where our Haram, the first Qibla, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa is under assault in a way that we haven't seen in decades. This is a tragic situation. It should pain every single believer because this is the land Allah mentions in the Quran three or four times. Allah says, Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa, Alladhi Barakna Hawlahu. Subhanallah asra bi'abdihi laylan min al-masjid al-harami ila al-masjid al-aqsa. Glory be to the one who transported his slave in the night from masjid al-haram to masjid al-aqsa. Allah describes then masjid al-aqsa, alladhi barakna hawlahu. The place whose surroundings are blessed, mubarak. Just like this was a blessed month of Ramadan, Allah put barakah in this time period. In the same way, Allah put barakah in certain places around the world. There are some places, some territories where Allah places barakah. 
The month of Ramadan is a time period. When it's gone, the barakah is gone. But there are certain, certain places around the world where the barakah of Allah remains. And one of them is Masjid al-Aqsa alladhi barakna hawla. Allah talks about the land of Palestine in at least two verses where he says al-aw alladhi barakna fiha. So he says the land in which Allah placed his blessings at least twice in the Quran. This is a blessed land, my brothers and sisters. This is a land of the Anbiya, of the Prophet. And it is under attack. And our brothers and sisters over there are under brutal assault. When you see the images, it's really hard to watch. Even in Masjid al-Haram, sacred space, where, you're, where the Muslims are praying, the sisters are praying, the soldiers are going there and, and shooting, and killing people, and assaulting them. This is one of the gravest crimes we need to realize وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِنْ مَنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُذْكَرَ فِي أَسْمُورُ وَسَعَ فِي خَرَابِهَا أُولَئِكَ مَا كَانَ لَهُمْ أَنْ يَدْخُلُوهَا إِلَّا خَائِفِينَ لَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا خِزْيٌ وَلَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ This is a verse that encapsulates perfectly what's happening. Allah says, who can be more unjust? أَظْلَمْ Who can be more unjust than the one who prevents Allah's names from being recited in the masajid, the houses of Allah, and strives to corrupt the houses, destroy the houses. This is a tragedy. And Allah says, these people, they don't deserve to enter these places except with fear. That means Muslims need to be honorable and respectful and have a position of strength and fight back against these individuals and don't let them enter these places except in a state of fear. They, they should not be able to do what they're doing freely. And Allah says, لَهُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا خِزْيٌ In this dunya, they have nothing but humiliation. وَلَهُمْ فِي الْآخِرَةِ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ And in the next life, they have a terrible punishment waiting for them. So, part of our emotions will be tempered with this hope of this promise of Allah. Allah is watching. وَمَا اللَّهُ بِغَافِلٍ عَمَّا يَعْمَلُونَ وَعَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ Allah is not unaware. Allah is making account watching every single thing that is happening. So it's really, the, the, the job is ours. Allah is testing us to see how we respond, to see how the Muslims respond. Allah is noting everything. And there will be a time for justice, inshallah, in this life, as also in the next life. I don't have a solution for you, brothers and sisters, but at the very least, all of us should feel that pain. At the very least, we should feel that in our hearts. When any of the masjid, the sajid of Allah, especially one that is mentioned in the Qur'an is under assault. If that doesn't move you, then you should fear for your faith. So all of us in our hearts, the masjid al-Aqsa should be in our prayers. And all of us who should be working for an internal solution. The solution will not be in the politicians. The solution will not be begging this person or that person to save her. The solution will come from the Muslims themselves. If we don't have individual, we should confess to Allah of our incapability, of our weakness, of our feebleness, of our ajas before Allah, before these circumstances. And we should make dua that Allah create some individuals who have the power to deal with the situation. Some individuals who can do better than us, who can do those things that we could not do, while at the same time being embarrassed and being ashamed of the situation. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, to bless the people of Palestine. Allahumma harrir al-Masjid al-Aqsa al-Asir. Allahumma harrir al-Masjid al-Aqsa al-Asir. Allahumma harrir al-Masjid al-Aqsa al-Asir. Allah mansur al-Muslimina fi Palestine. Allahumma farraj kalbahum. Allahumma farraj kalbahum. Allahumma anzal alayhi al-Nasrah. Ya Aziz wa Ya Ghaffar. We pray for all the Muslims around the world. In Rohingya, in Burma, in Syria, in Kashmir. Everywhere Muslims are suffering. We ask Allah to bless them. Allah mansur al-Muslimina fi kulli makan. Allah ma'izzahum fi kulli makan. Allah ma'nasrahum nasran azizah fi kulli makan. Ya azizu ya ghaffar. We ask Allah to bless us, accept all of our prayers in our hard work in this month of Ramadan. Allah ma'taqabbal minna siyamana. Wa taqabbal minna salatana. Wa taqabbal minna qiyamana wa ruku'ana wa sujoodana. Wa taqabbal minna dua'ana. Oh Allah, accept all of our feeble worship in this month and answer all of our prayers that were made in this blessed month of Ramadan. May Allah lift this pandemic, this terrible scourge from us. Allah marfa anna had al bala. Allah marfa anna had al bala wa had al waba. May Allah cure the sick that are affected by this. 
اللهم اشف موضعنا فيها وارحم موتانا فيها يا رب اللهم ارحمنا جميعا يا رب رحمك يا رب رحمك رحمك يا رب may Allah accept all of our prayers I wish each and every one of you a blessed Eid Mubarak may Allah give you joyous days to come on this day and the subsequent days may we meet every single year the meeting the month of Ramadan and meeting each other and may we be in better circumstances next year كل عام وانتم بخير عيدكم مبارك تقبل الله منا ومنكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله جزاك الله خير شيخ Brothers and sisters, please remember uh, CDC guidelines uh, so hugging and all of that please only if you are within the family and additionally just a reminder we are open for five times daily prayers at the Ikram Masalla right behind Taekwondo on Telson Road um, you guys are welcome uh, we are and we have in Kuna Juma and other classes as well please uh, check the WhatsApp groups, um, come to the masjid, and uh, that a lot of for coming. Brother, please, no hugging here, please. Please, go your home, hug over there, enjoy. But no hugging here, please. We are under observation, please don't do that. Say something to our viewers. Hey, Allah. Also, as we are in the parking lot, please follow all the traffic rules and regulations. Just uh, follow the guidelines from our uh, regular scheme here. So just make sure we don't violate any.